Hello, this is Mark McCormick, bassist with the United States Coast Guard Band, and this is the double bass. In this beginning lesson, we are going to learn about the parts of the double bass. We are going to learn how to safely put down and pick up the bass. We are going to learn how to stand with the bass. We are going to learn the two different bows that we can use with the bass. And finally, we are going to talk a little bit about basic proper left hand technique. Let's get started. The parts of the bass from the bottom to the top are the end pin, the tail piece, the four strings of the bass go into the tail piece and come over the bridge. Then the strings continue up over this black piece of wood called the fingerboard, over this part of the bass, which we call the nut, and finally into the peg box. Now the peg box is part of the scroll. And on the scroll, we have the tuning machines, which tune the strings. Right here is the neck of the bass. Here is the heel of the neck. These are the ribs. This is the back. This is the top of the bass. And finally, these right here are called the up holes, and that's where the sound travels out of the bass. So as we put down the bass, we wanna make sure that our hand is on the neck and our right hand here is on one of the ribs and we gently set the bass down on its side, just like that. Now, getting back to the end pin, the end pin is adjustable. And as you can see, you can make it longer or shorter according to your height. As we go to pick up the bass, we never want to pick up the bass in an overhand motion. We always want to pick up the bass in an underhand motion. And this will ensure a safe hold on the instrument. And right here, then we gently pick the instrument back up. And we're all set. Now, the way that we stand with the double bass is this. We face the bass. Our left hand goes on the heel of the neck. The left leg goes in about a half step. We lean the base into our upper body. And right here where you see on the inside of our knee, our left knee, is where the lower rib goes. And then you balance the base just like that. Now, on the double base, we have the privilege of having the choice between two different bows. The first bow is what we would call the French bow. And what makes this bow unique is we use an overhand hold to play with this bow. You'll see that it has a smaller frog than the next bow, which I'm about to introduce to you. This bow, the second bow that we can use, is called the German bow. And it is set apart from the French bow. It does not use an overhand grip. It uses an underhand grip, just like this. And you will notice that the frog is a little bit bigger on the German bow. Now, the parts of the bow are the screw, which can tighten and loosen the horsehair, which goes on the string and makes the sound. We talked about the frog, which is right here, the stick, the grip, and finally, the tip of the bow. The French bow, as you see, has exactly the same parts. The screw is slightly different, but the parts are the same. Now, with the hold on the French bow, what we wanna do is we wanna take our right hand, and with our thumb, we wanna put it in the front of the frog between that and the grip, put our first finger right here on the grip, and then the second, third, and fourth fingers go right behind, just like that. Now, the hold that we use on the German bow is this. With the palm of the hand right here, we put the back of the frog in the palm of the hand. Then we put the thumb on top of the stick. Then we put the first finger on the side of the stick. Then we put the second finger on the side of the frog. The third finger goes right in here. And then underneath the pinky goes right here. And that's how we hold the German bow. Now, both of these bows 
rely on arm motion. And I'd like to take a moment to talk about just basic arm motion as you're bowing. You want to think of your right arm with the bow as swinging like a pendulum, back and forth, just like this, very freely and very relaxed, just swinging. So as we go this way, we're going to pull the bow. And as we go this way, we're going to push the bow. So with the French bow right here, we put the bow on the string. Now with this horizontal swinging motion, we want to make sure that you are putting vertical weight into the string. That weight is going to help create a sound. So there's two motions that you're essentially going to be doing here. You're going to be horizontal movement back and forth with vertical weight. Now with the German bow, it is exactly the same. Remember our bow hold for that. Same thing, horizontal motion with vertical weight. The last thing I would like to cover today is basic proper left hand technique. So where you start with your left hand is you want to make a C. Just like this, this is your basic hand technique right here and your hand shape. You want the thumb to be basically right across from the second finger. As you put the hand on the neck, you want the thumb to be on the back of the neck. You want the fingers curled right here and you want the elbow up, which is giving full support to the hand. What you want to avoid is the elbow down. That is going to serve to pull the hand away from the base. So make sure that you keep that up. In these lower basic positions, we use a first finger, a second finger, and a fourth finger due to the long string length of the bass. So as we play, that is our basic left hand shape. Thank you so much for listening in to this basic lesson on this most wonderful instrument called the double bass. Hope to see you soon. I'm Mark McCormick, bassist for the United States Coast Guard Band. Thank you.